All right, so what potential problems could arise? Well, trying to open up a marijuana dispensary has lots of potential problems. One of the problems is having your application denied. Since it is based on a lottery, that's how they select which dispensaries, if they have all their documentation and application done properly and fees paid, will be opened. Another uh, potential problem is product liability, legal issues, enhanced risk of banking, financial or IRS scrutiny, crop loss possibility due to pests, heat, human error, etc., and high energy consumption. Um, how likely are they? Um, well, in the state of Florida, since it's pretty new, um, there is potential problems for the legal issues and the banking and IRS um, situations. But I plan on having my team and my accounting and my staff um, trained and well versed in all the legal issues and the laws, what we can and cannot do, how our products should and should not be. Um, the crop laws, there is humidity in the state of Florida, but if um, we have our greenhouse with the correct temperature and we make sure we use the correct pesticides, um, and um, our staff, once again, is well um, trained, it should lessen the possibilities of these errors happening. And to manage the potential problems is um, be proactive, have plans set in place in case any of these um, were to occur, know what to do in the situation. Um, for the high energy consumption, uh, consider going into solar um, but I have to research into that and see if a dispensary can run on solar power. Um, what I have projected for this project is having a, a facility and have a facility facelifted within about 12 months, doing a soft opening in about 18 months, and hopefully having a full opening between 24 to 30 months. The way I have set my objectives is um, actually doing my research, setting up adequate timelines, um, getting advice from people that have opened other dispensaries in the state of Florida, and knowing more or less what the process is, and already starting to talk to family members and possible investors. Um, I have not yet set up deadlines for each stage of my venture, because the main problem would be getting an application and being approved. Since uh, very little get approved and there's not an approval every year, I cannot set my deadline until I have that approved. Once I know that there is an approval, I can start setting deadlines from there. Is there a relationship between events in this venture? Um, there's a lot of marijuana. Um, this um, cannabis um, expos, um, there's a lot of seminars, um, places that we would be allowed to set up kiosks and um, that specifically is for our type of business. Not every event would we be allowed because of the nature and everyone's not 100% on board. But doing my proper research, I can I know which events that we can um, coincide with for my venture. And at the time, I don't have any other factors or contingency plans. Um, my main focus is obtaining the funds for the application, which is over $60,000, and um, getting started in that process and seeing how that goes. And having a consultant in hand and an attorney that can assist me so that we have a higher chance of being approved and being able to get the ball rolling and having this company started. All right, thank you very much.